Alright, you about ready? Ready. One of the first things I always take with me when I go on my trails is my little Garmin map. Even out in the desert you can get lost. So this will... I have no idea what this is. Good morning, everybody. Ooh, watch out for these little critters. Yikes. That's a beautiful morning. Just got my coffee going. <clears throat> and it was, got down to 57 last night. 57. Not bad. Not bad at all. What a beautiful sunrise. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's going to be a great day. Sorry there, Goblin. Put my little lamp on it last night. Got these little, uh, these are little rechargeable lanterns. They're so cute at night. <laughs> Tammy found this. Looks like a candy bar. <laughs> or petrified wood. I don't know what it is. That's interesting. What I'm going to do in just a second, I'm going to take the quad out and I'm going to drive around and show you some of the typical kind of trails that you'll find here at Boulders, OHV area. And uh, if you have like a dirt bike or somebody with ATVs, quads, or a four-seater, razor, can-ams, those kind of things, this is a great area to come out. But I want to show you a couple of the areas around here. There's an area where you can, uh, if you have little kids, you can take them to the little kids area. They have a little uh, children's uh, drive area where they, it's all fenced in so the kids can get their dirt bikes over there. But it's a great kind of family area out here. And I'll just show you some of the trails. So I'm going to hop on and let's go. One of the first things I always take with me when I go on my trails is my little Garmin map. So I'm going to hook this up on my quad because... Even out in the desert, you can get lost. So this always helps me find my way back. My Garmin 66i. So I'm going to use this as my map. I'm going to put it on the quad. And we're ready. So I'm going to take you around first. I'm going to take you around through the campsite area. Or the staging area, I guess. Technically, this is called. This is all part of the Boulder staging area. And it's really kind of neat how they set this up. We're going to be coming up the... The left side of the V there, the upside down V. This is the area that uh, if you're coming here in an RV and you want to spend the night and you don't want to get a lot of distractions from traffic and stuff, this is the better side to pick. If you stay on the other side of the V, it tends to get very, very busy, especially on weekends. In the wintertime, it's not unusual for this place to fill up with several hundred uh, ATV years along with several dozen maybe even two dozen RVs parked on the other side over there. So just be aware of that. During the winter, this is a very busy place. It's a very popular place from the valley for people to come, bring their motorbikes, dirt bikes, ATVs and stuff, and just have fun, bring the family. And uh, there are little fire rings you'll notice where people have camped before. There's one bathroom for the whole area. I'll show, we'll show you that in just a second. This is the area for the kids. This is kind of nice. I'm glad that they set this up this way. It's a training area, they call it. 40 inches or less. Great place for kids to come bring their little mini bikes and stuff and dirt bikes and run around there safely. And you can kind of keep an eye on them. we got little tables you can stop picnic at around there. Some people come out just for the day. And here's the main restroom facility. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes eh. <laughs> one of the comment I wrote one of the, uh, read, read one of the comments on Google here, and it's kind of funny. It says uh, by R. So it's about as good a bathroom as in a place with so many people can be. Yeah, that's about right. Another comment said, "Don't forget, like me, bring bug spray, sunscreen, and drinks. Definitely want to bring drinks because." 
it's easy to forget that you're going to dehydrate out here if you don't bring a lot of stuff to drink. And the air, uh, in wintertime, it tends to be very dry out here. 15% humidity is not unusual. And I take a little side trip here to the right, kind of do a little bit of a loop to show you what some of the trails look like. And this area through here is just south of the uh, staging area. It's really typical for what a lot of the little trails are around here. And I, I just call this squirrely. In fact, there's so many little whoopie doos in some of these trails. I had to stop and lift my camera back up and tighten it because so, he kept falling forward with all those bumps. There are some areas you get down in the wash and then you can really open it up and have a little bit of fun in the wash when it's kind of sandy and gravelly and stuff through there. Uh, that, that was fun for me. These little whoopie doo areas I didn't really care for. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I don't know if the video captures it enough, but uh, that's why I, I made a comment, or maybe you heard me make a comment about not really being an area for Jeeps. This area for trucks or Jeeps is not, I wouldn't really recommend bringing a truck or Jeep through one of these trails. I mean, you could. You get some pinstriping on the side because there's a lot of mesquites and stuff around both sides. It's better for the smaller side-by-sides and quads, dirt bikes, things like that. There's a few little areas where you can kind of open up like in through here. Makes it fun. And you get these little runs that go down through the little washes here. Again, some more of those little whoopie doos Ugh. I decide finally in here to throw on the four-wheel drive. Another thing, just another note while I'm thinking about it, it's good to have a flag on your vehicle or something up a little high so that people can see you if they're coming from the other side of the hill. It doesn't happen very often. Once in a while we have accidents out here, but not very often. But it's always a possibility something, someone's coming the other direction and you're going up a hill down in those washes and it's really easy to get kind of disoriented and lost. But it's fun. Just keep your keep safety in mind. Well, as you can see, some of those trails that I was just on, some of them, there was the one little child's area there where you can get 40 inches, or if, if you're over 40 inches, they don't want you in that area. So that's for the kids to, kind of a kid's play area. It's a great little fenced-in area where kids can get in there with their little quads or dirt bikes and kind of play around and not have to worry about and watch out for the adults. On some of these other trails, as you noticed, I probably will narrate during the trail, but some of them are kind of narrow and they go in and out of the washes and I, I wouldn't do those in a big Jeep or a truck because just because they're so, I don't know, I don't, I would think they'd be a little bit awkward and they're kind of steep in a couple spots. If you're on a quad, you kind of have to lean into it and go forward when you're going up the hill, but it is a little bit a good place to come out and exercise some of those riding skills. So I'm having fun. I'm going to head back and uh, take the same hills, but on the other way. So let's go. fun that's funny funny because you saw me stop there maybe I had something fall on the road 
and I heard it drop off the quad, so I went around and I found it in the dirt. So you always got to make sure everything's bolted on good. <laughs> so I take you on a ride with me on the quad. Hey, if you like this kind of video right here, check the 360 degree version on Arizona Virtual 360. I shot this video right here on my uh, new camera. But the cool thing about the camera is it actually records in 360 degrees. So if you go to the virtual channel, you can see the video and feel like you're right on the quad with me. It's, it's really cool. I've done it with my goggles on and it's unbelievable. This is pretty good. I like this too. But this is something different when you put it up, see it in 360 surround vision. <laughs> This was one of the trails I really liked because I could kind of open up the quad and just let it run for a little while. And it shows the, you know, the really beautiful desert. This kind of a serene beauty of the desert, even though some people might not realize it. Certain times of the year, it really greens up out here in the spring and after the rains of the summer and it's just something beautiful about being out in the desert I think you just want to keep your eyes open because you never know what kind of little critters you might see crawling around hey safe travels wherever you're going hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell Catch you later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.